Hi everyone and welcome in the combo section of my Tri-Brigade Littlest deck profile. If you want to see the profile itself, link in the description box below. And if you like the combinations I will show you, please don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and also subscribe for my channel. Now, as regards the combinations, I will show you four different ones and uh, even uh, what happens if your opponent uses Nibiru. So let's start. And for the first combination, just for a warm up, I will only use the Tri Brigade, the Fractal. So let's start with this. What happens if you have only one Fractal and nothing else in your hand? So, first, we will use the Fractal, send it to the graveyard, and with that, we can search for our Norval. Of course, you also send that to the graveyard because of the Fractal effect and activate the Narval's effect to search our Tri-Brigade kit. Okay, we will normal summon the Tri-Brigade kit and then we'll activate its effect to banish these two and to special summon the Harpy Conductor. Here it is. Now we summon the Harpy and then we will link these two off to summon out the Simorg Okay, because we uh, send the kit to the graveyard, we have the chance to search for the Tri Brigade spell, which is the Rendezvous. Send also that to the graveyard, and uh, in the end phase, we can summon out the statue. And uh, of course, this is just a basic board with only one fractal. If you have anything else, you probably can make a better one. But even this, uh, the statue is protected because of the Simorg, so your opponent cannot target this one or this one, so no targeting. And uh, the Rendezvous uh, gives you one chance to save your statue from a uh, distraction. So this is the basic board. Let's see the next one. Okay, so the second combination, because uh, in the last one I only used uh, Tri Brigades. So it's fair if uh, this one starts only with two uh, birds in my hand. So let's see, we will special summon this one. And because it was special summoned, we can special summon this one. This gives us a search. We have the Nerval in hand. And then we use these two for an Axis summon. And we summon out the Starling. And the uh, Starling uh, gives another search. Of course, we will go for the blue bird and uh, activate uh, its effect, special summon both from your hand. Okay. Then we will use these two to summon out the Harpy Conductor. After we summon out the Harpy Conductor, we can use uh, the Tri Brigade Norval to banish four. We will have the silver shallow and then we use these two for an Appaloosa. Unfortunately, uh, the Appaloosa will only have two negation this time, but it's not a problem because this is not the most op uh, optimal combo. Then we will uh, use Nerval's effect in the graveyard, search for the kit. Okay, after this uh, we will normal summon the kit, uh, of course activate its effect to banish two from the grave. And we can summon out Ancient Warriors Double Dragon Lords. After that we will send the Harpy Conductor and the Tri Brigade Kit to the graveyard to summon out the bird as always because this is such a great card. Because we send the kit to the graveyard, don't forget to send the rendezvous to the graveyard. And in the end phase, we can search out the barrier statue of the Stormwinds. So what we have here, guys? Here, it wasn't the most optimal hand, but still, we have one disruption, double dragon lords, two disruptions, a palooza, and we have the barrier statue as a lock 
and uh, actually this is protected both by the bird, so no targeting, and by the rendezvous, so that's one uh, extra protection. Okay, so this was the second combination. Now let's move to the uh, most optimal uh, combinations. So in this one, uh, you will have these two cards. And first, if your opponent don't have any Biru, let's see what fantastic world you can build with these two cards. First, you send the Fractal to the graveyard and send your Cobalt Sparrow to the graveyard, then activate your Warbler, Special Summon itself and the other bird back from the graveyard. Then you will have a search, so of course you will search for your Nerval. Then you summon out your next card, the Starling, and because you summoned out the Starling, of course you can detach one material to have another search, which will be the Sapphire Bird. Okay, after this, you summon out both, as in the previous combinations, but this time you can use Nerval's effect because you have two monsters in the graveyard. And summon out the Barren Blossom. Now, you will use every card on the field, send them to the graveyard, and summon out an Appaloosa, both the Goddess, and this time it will have four negations, so this is a really powerful card right now. And after that, don't forget that you have a search from the Nerval, so Chilling 1, and then the Baron Blossom will be Chilling 2, protecting the Nerval, and it's also a great effect, so if your opponent doesn't use anything, it's another effect which you can use to fix your hand. But the important part right now is the Nerval search, and you will have your kit. Then normal summon your kit, of course activate its effect, and you can banish. Maybe we want those to be in the graveyard, so we'll banish these three. And summon out the Simorg. After that you get rid of the kit, which was normal summoned, and instead of that you summon out the Salmon Great Link. And because you send Kit to the graveyard, don't forget to send the spell. This spell is actually great. And in the end phase, you have the chance to summon out the Barrier Statue. So here you have Appaloosa, a statue protected by the Rendezvous and by the Salaman Great. So actually, and uh, this was two cards in your hand. So you have uh, four more, and you had one chance because of uh, this card to get rid of your uh, your one card which you don't want to have in your hand and draw another one. So this is a really powerful board in my opinion, and you still have three cards in your hand. And now let's see what happens if your opponent uses an Ibiru. Okay, so we are here again. We summoned out the Starling, search for this, we made a search for this, we have two cards in the graveyard. Okay, we will use the Tri Brigade Nerval effect to banish these two, and because we used everything in the graveyard, and uh, in the next step we would go for an Appaloosa, then this is the time when your opponent will like Nibiru. And uh, yeah, that seems a bit unfortunate because you will have to send everything to the graveyard, you will have a token and your opponent will have the Nibiru card, and here you can do two different scenarios. First scenario, you can be really desperate and concede, I uh, wouldn't recommend that, but the second scenario, that you still use your Nerval effect, and then uh, the Ferigit effect, uh, which protects the Nerval. So, Nerval will give you a search. And you will have the kit, and you have to remember that you haven't used your normal summon yet. Which is really nice, because now you summon out the kit, activate its effect, and you will banish 4. 
you can summon out the ominous omen and immediately get rid of that Nibiru. Okay, so banish it. Uh, your opponent's field will be clear again. After that, use these two and summon out your second Ferigit, the Baron Blossom. Here it is. And you will have a search from the Ominous Omen and you will have a search for the kit. So because of the kit, you can send your rendezvous and because of the Omen, you can search your uh, Fractal. Okay, now use the effect of the Ferigit to summon out your Fractal. It doesn't really matter where, so summon out your Fractal. Then activate Fractal's effect. You will banish all three to summon out your Simorg. After this, you have still one job to do. Use the Fractal and the Ferigit to summon out your Silver Shallor. This is important because this way, when in the end phase you summon out your Barrier Statue, it will be protected by the Rendezvous because it is linked. So now you have the Nibiru token, you have the Simorg, which if it survives, it will summon more cards on your opponent's end phase and you have the statue with rendezvous protection. I know this is not that ideal, but uh, guys, they use the Nibiru and we are here with an acceptable board, right? Moreover, I want to show you one thing. So if you had the Karas and anything else in your hand which you can use to drop, then before you go for the Silver Shallor, You can use the Keras effect, drop this card to the graveyard, summon out the Keras, and then you can use all these cards for an Appaloosa, which will have not four, but three negations, which is not four, but it's also really good in my opinion, and uh, then you can still summon out your barrier statue on the end phase, which is protected by the rendezvous. So this is a, I would say this is an optimal board even after Nibiru. So this is why I think this deck is crazy. I hope these combos showed you guys how flexible this deck can be and how powerful. I hope you liked the video. If uh, that's the case, don't forget to like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I will make more amazing videos for you. Until that time, stay safe and get your game on.